Alright, so today I'm going to be going over how we can create roads for the Blender game engine. So, you know, when you're making games, sometimes you want some roads in your games and you don't want to be modeling it completely by hand. So we're going to be going over a technique of making roads and even having easy editability. So if I come out of here, um, this road here, actually, it's got some problems, but here is one that like what we're going to be making it today. And what you see is um, if we want to just move the road across here, we can jump to game hitting using P key you can see it instantly works and it's updated so really really good really useful really easy to do uh, so let's get straight into it and learn how to make these awesome roads all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this new clean scene here I just deleted everything by selecting it and clicking X and then delete so I'm gonna go ahead and add a plane now this is going to be our road and I'm going to scale it out so let's go scale it out on the Y direction and let's go control A apply scale um, the reason we do apply scale is it will mess up your UVs if you do not apply your scale um, so we want to go ahead into edit mode and we want to select the edges so get this edge select tool and just select the edges we want to extrude them down and out, um, depending on how much you want. So let's go ahead and move this up in edit mode. So our origin stays right at the center of the world. So there we go. There's our road. Um, the reason we have made it extrude this down here. So if you didn't do that, you just have a flat plane, and that can be really hard to get it correctly on the train, so that you don't see um you know the train under the road and it could just look weird sometimes so you want to avoid that so that's why we did that so we're going to go ahead and add material to this and UV unwrap it as well so I'm going to make sure I go into blend game just so we get a lot more clarity on options we can use so as you can see our options have all changed here and we get a few more extra options in the material panel so let's go ahead and create a new material and uh, I'm going to turn specularity off because we're not making a wet road, so we do not need that. And I'm going to go ahead and call this road. Make sure I don't have caps lock on. Road. Right. So we're going to go ahead and add a new texture to this. So we're going to come over here and add a new texture. And I have a texture which I got off cgtextures.com. There will be a link for you to get it if you'd like to get it. Alternatively, you can use whatever texture you like, but it's this one dirt road 0089 underscore 2 underscore s um, There'll be a link to it. There's, I don't know why it's got that name, but that's just how it was named So we're gonna go ahead and if we go into textured mode And we also go into GLSL mode oh, We also need a light so we can see something So if we go add all of those it's not working and of course it's because we haven't UV unwrapped it so it doesn't know where to put the texture so let's go ahead and open up a new window and we're going to select the UV image editor all right so now now that we've done that we're going to go into edit mode click this mesh using a and cl click U and then we just want to unwrap it since it's not a complex mesh we don't need any of these other options just unwrap should be fine there we go it's unwrap so we're going to go ahead and select the road texture and now you can see it is messed up so we can just go ahead and UV unwrap it again if we like all right so you might want to make your mesh longer for this sake of this tutorial i'm going to do something that's not probably the best idea i'm just going to stretch it squish the texture probably don't want to be doing that but for this tutorial it should be fine so there is our texture and this is from CG texture so it does repeat so we're going to go ahead and use the smooth option so it's going to make the edges go down a lot more nice looking it's going to kind of make it look like it's it's not jagged it's actually kind of like an organic shape here so now that we have that we want it to follow a path which we will define 
So let's go ahead and close this. So we don't need this anymore. So what we're going to be adding is a curve busier curve. And what you'll see is I have actually modeled this the wrong way. So we can go ahead and just rotate this. Then we can go control A, apply rotation. It is important to apply rotation because we're going to be adding modify slater and it will need that. So now that we've done that, we can go select our mesh. And we're going to add an array modifier. Because depending on where we put this curve and if we extrude it, we want the road to get longer or shorter. So we can go ahead and add an array. So what you see is we've added our array modifier and it is working. I would actually like it to be the other direction around. So I'll just go ahead and rotate that. Um, actually, I'm not going to rotate that because that's going to mess up our all of our work because just of how these curves work. So this should be fine. We're going to go ahead and change this from a fixed mount to fit curve. So depending on how long the curve is, it's going to add or subtract the amount of times it uses the array modifier to add, I guess, duplicate it along the array. So we're going to change this to fit curve. Um, so if we go ahead and scale this up, it's not going to do anything. And the reason for that is I did not apply it to this busier curve. So you need to tell it which busier curve to fit to. So we're going to go select this. So there we are. If we change the length to this, of this, as you can see, it is changing the length, which is great. All right. So if we go ahead now, we want it to deform to the, the curve. So the way we can do that is we can come here. We can go into the deform and the modifiers deform and select curve. So we want to go ahead and select the object. So we can go select it from this list. Or we can use one of my favorite new tools in Blender, this little eye drop. So we can just go ahead and select our mesh easily. And as you can see, it is going to the curve, but it, it doesn't look very nice. So uh, what, what you need to do sometimes is, depending on how much your poly count you're going to have in your game, uh, you can go ahead and add more or less of these. So let's say we want to make it a bit more smooth. So I'm going to have three in here. So as you can see, the road is looking a lot nicer and a lot smoother. Also, it will look a little bit better if you use like a sun lamp or something. So there we go. There is our road. So we can go ahead and kind of just go to the top view. So top. Now you can see we can go ahead and extrude just by hitting E and moving. And the road is updating, getting longer, and doing everything we want. So as you can see, you can just keep building road, and you can sort of make it go through the other bit of road. Um, it's not the best. All right, so there we go. So let's say that's our road. So you want, might want to go ahead and just move this down a little bit. Or alternatively, if this was going to be a bridge or something, you could lift this up. But now you see pro another problem which we need to notice. It's kind of making the road all go on a slope and that's not very good. That's actually really annoying and it's not a bug. It's just how Blender works. But there is a way to fix this. We want to go ahead and select all of the affected uh, control points, whatever they're called in Blender. So yeah, this one's affected. To this one's sort of affected and it should be fine. So we're going to go all the way up to the top and you'll see this option right here. So you want to go ahead and just change that until you get a nice flat uh, road. So as you can see it's flat. Uh, alternatively if you do want it to be on a slope you can also do that. So this could be like a racetrack and the car could come speeding around this corner. So, as you can see, it's all good. And when we go into gaming, just hitting the P key, as you can see, it works. Um, so one thing to notice, to note, sorry, is that you're going to also want to avoid really sharp corners. So you just 
as you can see we're getting a problem there so you're going to want to avoid those as much as you can or alternatively you could add more uh, polygons in your mesh to make the corners smooth there we go a whole i guess this is a race track you could use it for roads or whatever you like and we can even duplicate this and thanks to blender it changes the it changes what all these modifiers are hooked connected to thanks to blender's great system for this so as you can see quickly building roads works great works fine so if you have any questions about this tutorial go ahead and comment them down below and if you want to see more tutorials like this and more tutorials on different things in the blender game engine you can go ahead and subscribe to me because i come out with a new tutorial every single week so have a great week keep blendering and make some cool games in blender see ya